Hi guys, today I'm going to be painting these plastic um, things that you like put um, on your doors or like windows. Um, well, after you paint it, like you put like a string here and you like stick it up. That's what I'm going to be painting today. So, what you'll need is a pretty small paintbrush. As much colors as you want, like to fill in the whole thing. I need four colors. So I used dark green, dark blue, yellow, and hot pink. And I put them all on my canvas. So basically, first I'm going to start with the middle part. And I'm going to make that um, hot pink. So... These things, so I like to add like, kind of like a lot of paint, so I could get it at, like everywhere. So, in this process, you want to be careful, because I have a skinnier brush, but I just can't find it. So I have to be really careful not to get it anywhere else. But the my flag. Okay, I finished the middle. Now I'm just going to brush off my brush and get to the other color. So I'm done in the middle. Now I want to do these sections here. As you can see, I want to do those um, blue. So I'm going to grab a little bit of blue and put it in the middle. You just have to be really, really careful. Not to get it anywhere else but the middle and the sides because you want to get everywhere so that looks really nice when you see your results at the bottom. So I'm going to do the same color for each, like there's two on each side. I'm going to do the same color. If you want, you could do it different so then you have five colors. But I just want to do it the same. Alright, so now I'm on to my next half. I don't want too much pink because I don't want it to overflow. You just want the right amount of paint to cover it and fill it up. So that's it. Now we're just going to brush off our brush and head to the next color, which is... I'm going to do green. So I'm going to grab a little bit of green and color in like the, this line that's like around the blue. It's fine if you get a little bit of um, paint like on the thing because if it dries, it's just gonna dry on top, so it doesn't matter. It's not like gonna bleed through. Very careful. All right, we got that half done. We just have to do the other half now. This really takes time, guys, because you have to be careful. You have to also have a steady hand. I don't really have a steady hand, but I kind of do. So I could do it. Sometimes you could even go to the end of the brush and, like, color it in. Because you need, like, a really deep, fine um, brush. It's like really, really skinny. All right. Just gonna color it in. Alright, 
I'm done. Now for the back part, for the finish touch, I am going to make it yellow. So, I'm just going to get a little bit of yellow and paint. Okay, so the last color is kind of hard to get on the out, like the rim of everything because I don't know, it's just like kind of hard because you have to kind of go like for the very edge and just paint. Yeah, so like when you go to the very edge, it's not very easy. I'm almost done and then we will be done our finished product and then just wait for a couple of minutes for it to dry because acrylic paint dries really quickly on these stuff like I have a couple of other ones that I've done and it dried in like 10 or 20 minutes so don't you don't have to be very patient for it to dry because it dries pretty quickly. Other than other stuff that dry, I think it's quick. But if you don't have the patience, then it's fine. Just like wait. Because I mean, it's not long. Okay, so I am done painting. This is how it looked. It's really messy. But at the bottom. Looks like a masterpiece. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys like my video. Make sure you click the thumbs up and turn on your notifications so you could see any videos that I upload. And hit the subscribe button. Bye!